Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the perimeter of a rectangle. Now what do we mean by the perimeter of a shape? Well the perimeter just means the total length around the outside of a shape and we saw that in a previous video. So what that means is that if we were to take each of the lengths, each of the sides of a shape and we added them all up that would be the perimeter. You can think of that as the total distance you would have to walk around the shape. So if I started at this point on the shape and I was to walk all the way around the shape, around the outside, the length of the perimeter would be how far we've walked in total to get back to where we started. Now, if we think about a rectangle, if the top side is five meters, then the bottom side would be the same because opposite sides of a rectangle equal in length. So I'm gonna put the five meters there, just copy it there. And if the right side is three meters, well, the left side is also gonna be three meters because opposite sides are equal in length. And then the perimeter, we want the total length. So we're gonna add the length of all the sides. So we just do five plus five plus three plus three. And if we add that together, that would give us 16. And what's the unit? Well, we're adding lengths in meters, so it's gonna be 16 meters in total. So that is the perimeter. Now, what about this shape? Well, what do these funny symbols mean? Firstly, these symbols here, by the way, they are right angles. That just means a 90 degree angle. And if you're confused by that, a right angle just means like the corner of a table or something. Like this is a right angle here because it's like the corner of a square or a rectangle. So that's what these symbols here mean. They're right angles. And what do these little marks mean? Those marks just mean that each of those lengths are equal. So this is actually a square because it's saying that this length is equal to this length is equal to this length is equal to this length. All the sides are the same length because they have that little mark on them. So it's a square. So if that's six centimetres, then all the sides are going to be six centimetres. So squares, sides are all the same length. So then we can just add these together as before. So the perimeter, I'll just use P for short, is six plus six plus six plus six. And that is what, 24. And then what's the unit? The unit is centimeters. You might think, well, there's a quicker way of doing this. I've got six, but four times. So instead you could have written six times four because we want four lots of six and that would again be 24 and the unit is again centimetres. So we could have done it this way instead by just timesing the six by four. Similarly, you could have added the five and the three here, five plus three is eight, and that's doubled up. We got two of those, eight times two is 16, which is right. So that would have been a slightly quicker way of doing the first question.